today we are going to be doing uh, in tr the traditional method for subtracting fractions. So this method involves um, making your denominators the same. The first example that we are going to do, the denominators are the same. So I can show you guys what you do when they are equivalent. So very much like adding subtractions, when it comes to subtracting, it's the exact same rules that you cannot have different denominators. And then you're just going to subtract straight across. So 3 minus 1 equals 2, and then bring over your denominator, which is 7. So 3 sevenths minus 1 7 equals 2 sevenths. Now the next three examples that I'm going to be doing, the denominators are not equivalent, so you will see what you have to do. So the next example we're going to do is 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. You are going to multiply this denominator by the top and bottom of this fraction. So we are going to multiply 3, 3 times 1 and 3 times 4. Then you're going to multiply 4 by this fraction as well. So you have 4 times 2 and 4 times 6. This gives you um, two more fractions that are the equivalent to those, but they have the same denominator. So it's 8 over 12 minus 3 over 12. And then since they have the same denominator, you subtract straight across. So 8 minus 3 equals 5 and bring over your denominator. The next example that we are going to do is 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3. These, again, don't have the same uh, denominator, so we are going to multiply this denominator by the top and bottom of this fraction, and the same with this denominator to this fraction. So 3 times 3 equals 9, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now you have the same denominator, so subtract straight across. So 9 minus 8 equals 1, and bring over your 12. So 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths, 12 equals 1 12. Now the last example that we are going to do is 1 half minus 1 third. So again, multiply this denominator by the top and bottom of this fraction, and then do the same thing to the other fraction. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. Same denominators, subtract straight across, giving you 1 6. So that is the traditional way of subtracting fractions. This is the way that they teach you in school. Uh, the key things that you have to remember is you have to have the same denominator to be able to subtract. If you don't, then you're not going to get the correct answer. If you have different denominators, multiply the op or this other fractions denominator by the top and bottom of your fraction and that will give you an equivalent denominator, the same denominator. Uh, you can always reduce or simplify down if you need to, but all the examples that we had, they were in their simplest form. So that is the traditional method for subtracting fractions.